Greetings everyone, and great here with another h 3 replay. So on the bottom or to the right side as the blue French, we have Captain Mazen. So on the left side as the red Japanese, we have Canadian. That one goes down, of course. Looks like the explorers are the ninja ladies. When it comes to natives on the map, we do have the Berbers. Definitely my favorite of all the natives. Can give you access to Berber Camel Riders, some Berber Nomads, and the Salty Camel. The Salty Camel, I believe, should be deployed more often because a 10,000 coin deposit for 200 wood seems pretty good alternative to the plantation or estate. No deck selected just yet. No deck selected just yet. Some of these swamp puffers are starting going down. Ah, that's probably actually a user created name. Mabel and Dipper. I have no idea what that would mean. The other names the map for Charles Mission is the Sudanese, which can give you some dervish as well as some Askari mercenaries and Sinar horsemen. And a horse like a super heavy cavalry, uh, cavalry unit like has like a thousand health, if I remember correctly. No decks selected just yet. No decks selected just yet. Try and just get set up by the zebra, and now there's shipment available. And looks like. The French sign for a trade post. A Lucky. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Either way, couriers, economic theory, couriers, wood, coin, coin, crossbows, range infantry hit points, huzzars, and cavalry hit points, wilderness warfare, church upgrades, wood, coin, skirmisher, skirmishers, uh, cruciers, cavalry combat, dragoons, falconets, refrigeration, couriers. Heavy cannon, factory, and factory. We got new land. You guys gone for the supplementary laws. We do have the heavenly kami. Soldiers, wood coin, shrine, Yumi archers, musketeers, musketeer attack, diplomatic intrigue, daimyo, chariot orchard rickshaws, villagers, wood coin, Yumi, way of the bow, musketeers, close combat. Uh, mounted Archers, Eno Rush, Flaming Arrows, more Flaming Arrows, Mountain Castles, and Shogun. The, Archer, the Mounted Archer's attack increased and do more damage against artillery, so it's plus 100% multiplier versus artillery and just does do plus 20% damage. Minus one to siege attack against bonus uh, against artillery, so they're not very good at torching siege weapons. Like the what's it called X gun. But now the Tory gate not being bought of you, which will give him one samurai and a military rickshaw. And his opponent is going for the quartermaster and some hunting doggos. A, a local exotic doggo going down. And that dog was having just had his wood. That was just a bunch of sticks. His stick collection. You monster. Steal the fresh pearl clams in the middle of a creek. It's guarded by a swamp pupper. There is a little bit of fish I'll see if somebody wants to claim that up. Or in the creek or river. You can go for some fishing boats just to get a supplementary income. We do have... Both players are about to age... Or the French has aged up. The Japanese players are about to age up. One ship available. He's probably waiting for something. In the next age at least. We got a number of crossbows not being shipped on for the French. He's probably worried about the musketeer spam. <sighs> the 
French has another shipment available. Going for the Hazars. Ostrich down. Train wagons are now being shipped on in. Crossbows get a good volley there. He sees a crossbow, so the main one eye not to be as aggressive against the French. Where he has the general counter unit. It does not smoke bomb down in time. He goes down last moment. Good number of shrine wagons of one ML. Being plus uh put down next to the premium emus. This one is going down here. The other two, I'm not sure where they're going. They're shipping a five, right? Yep. Over here, we've got crossbows and French musketeers pushing way forward. Five of the three musketeers. He does find the shrine wagon. May get picked off by the Hussars. Nope, does start to build in time, but he can force torch that down. He does have his own trade post here. Now we'll slow down the French a little bit. Now he knows a bit of army. He can go ahead and take time to get some reinforcements. Let's have one barracks viewed. He has gone for the Portuguese. Another round of musketeers now being floated out. Try now ployed on the field over here. Next to the asshole donkeys. Yes, I'm going to call everything a nickname. Ah, that's three... He has a uh, 300 or 600 wood rather than 300. It has some sort of berry looking design there, but does not provide any food. More of the shrines starting to go in down. He could perhaps take time to torch this one. Crossbows have bad siege damage. Hazards don't have exactly great siege damage for their cost as well. Oh, the single samurai he has on the field. He has some good damage down the Hazards. Force can quickly go down by these forces. And now we do have a number of Naganata riders with people on the field to counter the crossbowmen. Musketeers push way forward. Should be able to get a good engagement here. When the Naginata Riders come out, he can engage the crossbows. Got to move forward to engage the Hazars. Those lose a shrine there. This one has taken some damage. There's currently set the coin. Naginata Riders charging way forward. They do have some bonus efforts infantry. They're not like Lancers and Warcles of Sours. Getting some great damage there. The Musketeers need to build a melee mode against the Naginatas. And now they're going to be engaged. Musketeers engaging the crossbows. Very good. Naginata riders need to pursue the crossbowmen. They are hitting the musketeers. These two Naginatas are going to be pursuing those crossbows. Got more musketeers here. And one Naginata does save a nice volley there from the musketeer. This Naginata does go down. More, another one last Naginata remains. Another round of, of Naginatas just got deployed on out. And now he has one more shipment available. Against all those musketeers, he's saying Yumi Archers wouldn't be half bad, but he's going for the Chariot Orchard rickshaws. French player is going for some wood now. Up north, he may be going for those natives. Sudanese. You can get those mercenaries out by paying 100 resources, not too much. And the, well, these are age 3 mercenaries. It looks like you can't go for the upgrade at age 2.
And now the French is eyeing to age up now. Going for the exile prince. The amount of Naganatas on the field to support the musketeers. The French could go for just mass uh, musketeers and be just fine. Another round of shrine wagon spawn on the field. Playing the various local fauna. And he is eyeing for a trading post up here as well. These forces having trouble moving around. Another round of Naganata riders, as well as some more musketeers. German of Cherry Orchard Rickshaw is being brought on in and got a pair of falconets for the Jap uh, for the French. Falconets will be very useful, barring the Naganatas. More musketeers here. He's not going to age up anytime soon. Does have 500 X work to work with. This Cherry Orchard is now almost completely consumed. That's why he's going for the Charity Orchard Rickshaws. Japanese player, for another source of uh, food, he could eye for some fishing boats. Nakanatas do have 22 siege damage, which is similar to Hazars, which is not great for their cost. Musketeers have 21 average for their cost. Our true rituals have been pulled out just in time. Now I got some another round of dragoons upon the field. Some of these villagers are starting to go down. He does does have the great coat, but does not appear to have anything else at the moment. Based on the knocking out the riders, has a couple hussars. Hussars in this situation not going to be super great. Falconets make it a volley here. It's good hit down the musketeers. Does it get the Naganata riders as well? French villagers getting hit a little bit there by the Naganatas. Dragoons need gauge. He will lose one of the villagers up here. The other ones should pick on off. Dragoons need some good damage on the Naganatas. Though they did overkill that one. More dragoons pulled on the field. And now got a good number of Naganatas. Musketeers may want to go into melee mode. He's trying to overrun the Falconets. Falconets hit the artillery of the Musketeers. Another round of Naganatas go down. Both Falconets have gone down. And it's taking out a good number of these uh, Naganatas. All right, Skirmish is now being pulled on out as well as some Dragoons. More French villagers also in the queue as well. The French right now is bankrupt. The Japanese player is... Not find age up anytime soon. That's rely on Naganatas and Musketeers the moment. Going for Musketeer attack. And he does they do walk by each other this time. And I was going to end relationships with the Portuguese. Not sure what he got from them. Dragons do have 26 damage, which is similar to the Musketeer's 24 damage. Have a bit more health and some range resist, but they do cost much, much more. Actually, it's just only 60 more. Naganata does go down there. And now we do have another age potential for the Japanese player. I love how you click on this, it goes to Villager. And he is going for the Shogunate, which will give him access to a Daimyo and a 300 experience. Well, by the time he gets actually a complete, he will have enough for a shipment then. Now going for Japanese Isolation. Thoughts of compassion and unbearable pain. Those bleeding on the ground will kind of leave you, give you thoughts of unbearable pain. Cavalry combat now being researched.
Good number of skirmishers spawn in field. Musketeers firing away. So the villagers are getting inside of the town site. Dead lose some. Two of them go down. Musketeers gain some good damage, but skirmishers are the counter for the musketeers. Let's bring in the military rickshaw. It does have the larger stacks of musketeers, so nine more is going to pop out. Now he has aged up, has two ships available, going for the veteran musketeer as well as flaming arrows as well as more musketeers. Does get out a military rickshaw there, does lose the military rickshaw immediately. The daimyo has already gone down. Does get inside of the town center, there's their militia, uh, irregulars and sentries. Getting some decent damage around the skirmisher. Those go down, more skirmishers push way forward. Dragoons are now falling them back. Gain some damage there. Blue's falling back. Red doesn't have a whole lot at the moment. He's afraid of reinforcements. Nine musketeers. Just popped out. He's getting a shipment of eight as well, so he's going to have a force of 17, which is a good number. We're going to bring in some skirmishers and also bring in some halberdiers. The shrine's going to be torched on down. The ostriches are trying to puff themselves up to scare away the dragoons, not being effective. Brandon. Dragoons don't have good siege damage, nor does musket or uh, skirmishers, so this will take a bit of time to torch down. Oh, well, so that's some shinobi there, don't we? Shinobi are a siege unit, they're light infantry. But they don't have any multipliers or negative multipliers. They do have 27 damage from the musketeers. 14 range, slightly better than musketeers. So they're a weird unit there. They're also classified siege, so they may have some sort of special effect against siege. I don't know. 26, 27 damage on siege damage is not bad, but their range is normal. So I really don't know about how about the classification of about Shinobi, honestly. There may be something I'm missing about it. No description there to get an idea of what they do. Like the mus Musketeer, they do have a basic description, but these the Shinobi don't have stealthy range infantry. I guess they can use stealth. Good against infantry, but they're just good against everything. So this description is just not adequate. Good damage there. Now got around another must skirmishers being pulled out by the Japanese, not Japanese, French. Uh, Daimyo being shipped on in as well. Good hits there. Flame arrows between forward. Musketeers are still pretty good at barring the skirmishers in the back round. Flame arrows need to hit those. Skirmishers, Dragoons focus down the flame arrows. They will get one more shot off there, but not a very good hit there. Another round of musketeers not being flown on the field. Reds are falling back. Taking some more damage there, just needs to start running away. Daimyo pushes his way forward. Large round of musketeers to blow them out. Going for the Despot Naginata Riders. Since he sees all of the dragoons he needs to deal with. Villagers migrating up north. Not sure what's up north for them to collect on up. Somewhere just not here probably. 
Naganata Rider's now being put on the field. We got the Scourge pushing forward in staggered formation. They're being deployed out by the Daimyo. Daimyo is classified as a heavy cap, so Skirmish will do less damage, while the Dragoons will do more damage. He's focusing on the Daimyo. Daimyo is taking quite a bit of damage. Musketeers gain some good damage. Daimyo taking mass hits there, and Daimyo goes down before the deployment is complete. Now it's bringing the Naganata Riders from the stable. Go just tasked up north to collect the coin. He could try uh, for a monastery to get out some outlaws or mercenaries. Naganata Riders probably can point on the field. They will get the good jump onto the skirmish as well. These are retasked the flag, maybe right around here. And now they just popped on out. It will rip apart the skirmishers. Got a great pop there. Dragoons and Huzzars trying to rotate their ways around. They got some good damage. Villagers now interrupting a lot of movement there. Got some more Shinobi. Not gonna have to rise engaging the Huzzars. Musketeers are looks like being pushed forward. Huzzars have gone all down. The number of Naganata is going down. Scrumps are still here in good numbers. Naganata's trying to push away forward. More Dragoons against the Naganatas. And now trying to bring in some uh, Lubmen. Or no, these guys. Nope, they did cancel them. And eyeing for some more Naganata Riders. Going for some Flaming Arrows as well. And now, uh, ooh, a large number of idle villagers here that may go down. Now trying to run away with the villagers. Skirmish is getting some good damage. Dragoons do less damage versus villagers. 50% less damage. Right. He's getting some hits there on these villagers over here. Just trying to collect a coin. He could eye for the Sudanese allies in order to bring out some some mercenaries there. Knocking out the rise to man's opportunity to engage the dragoons in melee. Musketeers now pursuing as well. Some more of these villagers going down. The Japanese player has 42 villagers. The French has only 33, so the Japanese player still has more villagers. Red has a good opportunity just to keep on engaging. Get some free damage there. Some more dragons being pulled on the field. And Red's going to sign the fall back. Blue has taken some damage there. Got more skirmishers blown out. His French villagers are moving around as well. That's a house, not a shrine. And we do actually have a Naganata Rider up here, which could get some damage on some of these French villagers. Though, if they go past the melee mood, it should be just fine. Now the shipments available. Not really sure what he should go for as a uh, shipment. The French sign to plot some more skirmishers. Japanese plan not to blow out more any more villagers at the moment. Uh, some cursiers got now trade order shirt rick shots is probably a good idea he doesn't have any rice price in the field has one trade order shirt on the field dragoons gains some good damage on the naginata riders and started stepping away it's good damage there and the rest of the naginata riders are falling back We have a castle in the middle of the field. Time for more Shinobi. Right. 
Oh, and the French Crusiers get uh, picked off. Losing these guys for free like that is a massive problem there. And skirmish go down as well. That's a big loss for the French. That's just 11 populations down the drain. And washed away, I should say, down the creek. And rather than down the drain. Big round of musketeers being pulled up by the Japanese player. The French not building more village at the moment. Needs another coin deposit. The good number of forces three forward has a big round of musketeers. He's falling back. He may lose a stable. His villagers should probably just migrate down to some of these trees over here. Musketeers do take a volley. Got some good damage there. Musketeers three forward. Dragon is trying to flank around with the flaming arrows. One flaming arrow getting focused down. Does go down. Does another shot there into the skirmishers. And now got a number of Yumi archers. They do bone samples with light cavalry. Musketeer is now trying to engage in melee. And got a good number of force in the back line. Shinobi and Yumi archers firing away. And the Musketeers are just trying to tie up the skirmish with the melee. They do a lot less damage at melee than they do at range. Now we got all these Dragoons trying to fall back now. French army just got another round of skirmishers there. More cavalry here, more Dragoons. Japanese probably bring in another shipment of villagers, and I am for more villagers. Right now, the shrines are bringing food. And now it's going for Way of the Bow. You may want to get some Yumi Archers. Yumi Archers get additional hit points as well as more range. Right now, the Yumi Archers are at 18 ranges. I'll put them up to 20. The skirmishers right now are at 20 as well. 18 damage, 3 attack speed versus... Yumi Archers, uh, 24 damage, 3 range. So right now the Yumi Archers do higher damage at 30% of range resist. Their multipliers versus heavy infantry is a lot less than skirmishers as well. So they're more generalists than the uh, skirmishers. Their damage versus light cavalry is 1.25, which is still the same. Oh, 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 this is a big potential loss. A couple villagers go down, getting more villagers hit. He does, he lost some of these villagers there. And those lose a good number of villagers. He's down to 32 versus 48. That was a big loss there. A pair of falconets now blow it on out, or a trio of falconets. That's a good volley there. Flame arrows need to hit those falconets to get a bit of AoE damage there. A little shot I'll push one for you. One of both of the flame arrows will go down. Does fire one more shot there, doesn't get a kill. Another flame arrow to blow it on out. The militia getting annihilated. The militia have gone down. Right, starting to fall back there, taking a bit of chip damage on retreat. More of the Discipline Yumi Archers free forward. Flaming Arrow is about to get overran. Flaming Arrow does go down. That's going for another 16 Yumi Archers, going for to play another Flaming Arrow as well. Take some damage there. I wonder if he has access to an uh, ally that can give out some culverns because they really use a culvern on three. Archers now engaging the skirmishers. The falconet still pulls a massive threat there. He needs to get out some. Excuse me, some Naginata riders. 
there's some Naginata Riders. But they're a bit wounded there. But he has the opportunity to engage some villagers up here. But he did not engage the villagers up there. Has one shipment available. No shipment for the French. He's going for more Dragoons. No more villagers. Going for a Flame Arrow. Now the archers will not be that great against the dragoons. They'll just be average. Maybe a good idea to go for more of the time seven villagers. Or maybe go for some coin and eye for an age up. Sarna, he just spent a lot of food on somewhere. I think he just bought a whole I think he just sold off a whole bunch of food for coin. Or I get out more flaming arrows. More Yumi archers now being queued on up. This player is going to lose some shrines. He will be put a pop cap if he lose one out of three. He's probably going to lose every single one. Starting to push his way forward. Do you have mill here since this point the Japanese player is providing some good use of uh, presence? Does get his village inside of the town center. Got a good number of dragoons here. Got four flaming arrows. The mill will likely go down. The mill does go down there. Stables now next. Pushing his skirmishers and Falconess of this region. Flame Arrow does get a good hit there. One of the Falconess are really wounded. This one's training on it. Should be able to pick that one off. There's another Falconess there. This one does go down. He's not hitting this wounded one. He's focused on the higher health one. Does take out that one. And just needs one good shot on this Falconet. And this gets shot over there, wasting that one shot. But he's still alive. May get another shot off there. Does not get another shot off there. Now I've got the barracks and seeing some fire there. Skirmishers and dragoons are pretty forward, trying to get some more damage on these forces. Red's starting to fall back there. He's going to take a large amount of losses there. He may just need to stand and fight. He's taking a good amount of losses. Falconet's still alive. He's going to hit some of those dragoons. Up on Naginata right is there. Skirmishers gains good damage. We got a number of skirmishers and hussars been fought by the French. Japanese player is hiring for more musketeers and another shipment of villagers. And now he's at 58 villagers, soon to be 65. This one's still at 33. The Japanese player just has much, much better economy for all these extra villagers. Trying to go for more. Nice going for a round of the Kono Yanbusha. They're armed for two minute club, good against cavalry and buildings. They are a heavy infantry unit that love to go clubbing. I am not interested whatever you're selling, sir. Dragoons gain some seeing some damage there. Very nice. He does have the Shogunet, right? So he could redeploy out a Daimyo. No, we've got a good wave of Yumi archers and clubmen. Before the clubmen do have 47 siege damage. Skirmishers just record a stagger formation. Here are five flamed arrows there. Gets a good volley there on the skirmishers. Good volley there on these forces. Dragons trying to push way forward. Gets some damage on the musketeers. The single wounded falcon has pushed way forward slowly. Bloodmen are being held in reserve. Does get a good volley there to get out of line of skirmishers. More Yumi archers being flown on a field. And one 
I'm sure it's now available for the Japanese player. There's some good hits there. Culverin does go down, does take out a couple of flaming arrows. Clubmen, I have to go clubbing. Some of the French villagers going down. I think the French player is just back in the game now. I think the, how the Japanese is able to pull off the victory just because of the just villagers had a better economy. Plus, our trying to charge away forward. Not a whole lot of counter units on the field, though the clubmen do bonus damage. Does save that single flame arrow and blue does back the game now. This is a great save. Thank you for watching and on to the next replay.